with that charisma that he had. I mean, it, it was just different. A St. Paul community is coming together to remember Dion Ford. He was a standout athlete at Higher Ground Academy. He was killed outside a convenience store last year. Now today, his teammates, friends, and community members came together to raise money for a scholarship in his name. Bab Santos joins us live from St. Paul tonight. And Babs, this is just one way they're remembering the young man. Yeah, Dion's goal was really to use his talents in sports to help his community. And now even after his death, he is still accomplishing that. I think he had like four or five game winners our senior year. On the hardwood at St. Paul Central High. He carried a lot of the load. Star football and basketball player Dion Ford Jr. turned heads with this effortless athleticism. A smooth and shifty left-handed shooter who went on to score 1,000 points for longtime coach Scott Howell. At the end of the day, when you look at the stats, you were like, oh, wow, look at what he just did. The, the sky was the limit for him, and he knew that. But after graduation, Dion was studying engineering at Augsburg when last March, the 21-year-old's life was cut short, shot dead in an apparent St. Paul robbery attempt, allegedly by a violent felon. Things like that happen, but you never think it's just going to hit home like that, and that hit home. It hit the school, it hit the community. Uh, you know, and, and, and it hurt everyone. Once an inspiration to his community, now Dion is their motivation to make a better future for generations to come. Shot. Less than a year after his death, his teammates and classmates are working hard to make sure Dion's name lives on. You got to remember the kid. You got to remember uh, uh, the legacy that he left here. And we'll never forget him. You know, we retired his jersey. On Saturday at the first annual Dion Ford Classic, organizers sold out of t-shirts and other gear, raising money to support the $1,500 Dion Ford Athletic Scholarship, already awarded to each of these deserving student athletes last year. It means a lot just to keep them going and his presence throughout St. Paul. For Dion's mother, Danita King, Saturday was not easy but she finds peace in knowing her son is still making a difference for his city. He will be, I think, very appreciative and thankful of what's going on and all the love and support. This year, they plan to award six scholarships in Dion's name, and their goal for next year is to increase to 12. Live in St. Paul, Bab Santos, Fox 9.